Hi everyone, let's take a look at question number six in topic set six. This question says that we have an ideal gas at a certain initial pressure and volume, and it's allowed to expand against a constant external pressure of two atmosphere. And the question is, what's the work that's done by the gas from this expansion? Well, first thing to remember is work has this equation that we can use to calculate it. This is what we call expansion work, and it's equal to negative P external times delta V, where delta V is just the difference between the final volume minus the initial volume. And so to be able to calculate work, we're going to need our um, final and initial volume. Now our P external here is the true atmosphere. So basically your gas is uh, initially at a fairly high pressure of 15 atmosphere. So all the gases are packed here in this 15 atmosphere pressure. On the outside, on the other hand, the pressure is only two atmospheres. So because there's this pressure differential, the gases is going to push up until the inside and the outside pressure are equal to each other where so you have two and then you have two as well on the outside and of course as a result of this expansion you start from a small volume which we were told is 10 liter to some final volume that we don't know and we have to calculate that and once we calculate that then we're able to use the work equation to help us solve for the actual quantity of work that's done by the gas so how do we get the final volume well one of the things that the question says is Boyle's law applies. So if Boyle's law applies, as you remember, Boyle's law is P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So the pressure and volume are inversely proportional. So if I want volume final, which is my V2 in this case, I can calculate by taking P1 V1 over P2. And P1 is 15, V1 is 10 liter, V2 is 2 atmosphere. And doing that calculation gives us 75 liter as our final volume. Now once you have 75 liters, you know that's your final volume you can go ahead and calculate your work. That's going to be negative your P external, which is two atmosphere times 75 liters. And that would give you negative 150 liter atmosphere. But so as you can see, when you do it that way, it doesn't really give you units of work that's that useful that you're familiar with. In fact, in the question, they said calculate the work in units of kilojoules. So if you want to convert liter atmosphere to kilojoules, you're going to have to figure out a, a unit that has a conversion factor where one is liter atmosphere and the other one is joules. And we happen to have this, if you remember, from the gas chapter. So gas chapter, we have two values of the gas constant. One is 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And then the other one is 8.314 joules, also per mole Kelvin. So you can see your mole Kelvin would just cancel out. And here I have liter atmosphere and I have liter atmosphere, so I can cancel that out. So you can see if I do that, my overall answer would be converted to joules. So doing that, that would give me a value of 15.2 and I'm going to convert this directly to kilojoules so it would have been 15,200 if you keep it in joules but it's just negative 15.2 kilojoules now the fact that there's a negative sign that's important because that tells you that the gas inside the container right here is doing work on the surrounding